welcome. My name is Mr. Micklack. I'm going to be, as far as demonstrating today for you, the Hoppy Vision Aimer so that you can align headlights on as far as your newer style automobiles. The Hoppy Vision is designed to do headlights that would normally have not be able to be done with a regular set of mechanical aimers. Uh, those that have as far as the markings or as far as the targets on the headlamps themselves. And on this neon, as you can see, uh, there does not have any kind of as far as of mounts for a headlight aimer. Uh, so we have to use either a Hoppy Vision like I'm showing you here or other type of as far as of uh, imaging processing as far as aimer or an aiming screen. So I'll be demonstrating to you today the Hoppy Vision. First thing you want to do is before you do any headlamps is number one, make sure that the vehicle's prepared for the headlight alignment. You need to make sure that all the tires are inflated to, this, to as far as their standard pressures and that, they're, uh, that the uh, car is in the area where you have as far as a floor level setting. I'm not gonna go through today the floor level setting, but understand we already have checked and set the floor level for this area and it's already set into my machine. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna bring my headlight aimer, this Hoppy Vision, about 20 inches to 24 inches away from the front of the car. Uh, again, not the headlights, but again, the front of the car. So I'm gonna take a quick tape measure measurement, okay? And I'm a little bit over 20 inches, I'm about 22 inches, okay? So we're good, anywhere from between 20 and 24 inches is where you wanna be, all right? So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna turn on the Hoppy Vision. I have it already plugged in. My switch as far as that goes for operation is right here. So I'll just turn that on. Uh, it's right as far as above the plug where the cord goes in. Now, the machine has to go through as far as a self-calibration, and that will take a few moments to do that. But once, it's got, once it does that, okay, you're going to end up with this screen here. Okay? Uh, this screen then tells you that the headlight aimer is ready to go. Uh, and as you know, it says at that point, you can go ahead and press any button on the screen, and it will then any of the buttons. And our buttons are all located over here on this side, and there are five different buttons. So again, any button here, we'll go ahead and get us started. And now, at this point, it asks us, we're in our main menu. In the main menu, we can either go into Help, Align Headlights, Alignment Demo, or Options. We are always gonna use Align Headlights. There is no need to go into any of the other as far as uh, menus. Uh, when as far as it comes to aligning headlights, the machine is already set up and for uh, the laser alignment. So I'm going to go ahead and hit number two, headlight alignment. And what it's doing as far as it now tells you to take as far as the aimer, roll the aimer to the center of the vehicle, and then turn the knob on the left rear. The knob is located back here on the left rear. Knob as far as it could, uh, of the aimer. Uh, counterclockwise to position as far as the laser uh, on a point on a point of reference relative to the center line of the car. And what I like to use for that particular one is usually this area right here where the grill is, okay, where the emblem as far as that goes on the automobiles would be. Again, this would tend to be the center line of the automobile. We also need to have as far as another point on the automobile that would normally be as far as the center line of the car, but something, I'm sorry, but something as far as towards as far as it goes around the windshield. And what I'd like to use there is the mirror pad. Okay, you can see the mirror pad right here. And I have marked the mirror pad with a white dot. I'm going to use the mirror pad, this dot on the mirror pad as one of my targets, and I'm going to use the this notch here on the grill as my other target. Okay, so as they mentioned, they want you to turn the headlight aimer all the way counterclockwise. I'm going to turn this counterclockwise to lower the aimer all the way down to its lowest position. At this point now, I have to move to the next screen to turn on my laser. Everything from this point on, as I work my way through the aiming process, will allow me, as far as the, the machine will allow me, to move forward in the program by pushing button number five. Button number five will always move you forward in the program. Button number two will always move you backwards in the program. Okay, so button five takes me forward, button two takes me back, and you can see the P or the OK. And we're gonna go here, we're ready to go, we found our points, we got our setup, we're gonna hit number five, and now it gives me a menu here where I can do different things. 
And again, P takes me back. Number three is where we want to go next, and that is turn on the laser. Okay, so my laser is pointing way down here on as far as the license plate holder. I don't want that down there, so I need to raise the headlight aimer up in order to bring it up to as far as the point here I want to be on my grill. So to raise it up, I'm going to need to push down on these two buttons here at the back of the aimer. And I also like to put my foot on the aimer to steady it when I do this. So I'm going to take and just push down with my palms and raise this up. And it does take a little bit of strength to do that. This does not move up very easily. But now I've positioned my laser on as far as the center point of my grill. And I'm now ready to take as far as and sweep the unit up to see where I come in relationship to the upper target on the top of the car. The intent here, guys, is that I'm going to hit both the upper and lower as far as targets without moving the aimer to the right or left. Okay, if I can sweep as far as that goes the laser up and hit the target, I know I've aligned as far as the, the, lay, the, alignment, the aimer to the front end of the car. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to take and turn my knob now clockwise. And I will, you can see the laser is moving up the hood of the car. It's up on the windshield. And you can see I am, as far as that goes, to the left. When you look at it from here, I am to the left of my white dot. So I have to reposition the aimer by shifting it to the right. Now, I like to do that by bringing this, the unit back down to my original target. Then I'm going to shift the whole thing by grabbing hold of the aimer, and I'm going to shift the whole thing to the right. So I'm just going to move it over. See how I move that to the right? And then I'm going to bring, bring it back onto the center point of my grill. Then go ahead and sweep the laser back by, again, rotating the knob on as far as the right-hand side here in a clockwise direction. And as you can see, I'm now touching my white target. As long as you're touching the target, we're good. Just bring it back down and again, and make sure you're still touching as far as the grill. And at that point, we now have squared the aimer to the front of the car. I've now created as far as uh, the aimer is now at an exact 90 degree angle, okay, to the front end of the car. So I'm now ready to go ahead and check as far as that goes to headlights. So I'm just gonna sweep it down one more time. Make sure I'm still on my center point here. And as you can see, I still am. I've got my two points. At this point, what I like to do is I like to level the aimer using as far as that goes the level file here at the back as far as of the aimer. So I'm going to turn my knob again. In this case, I'm turning it as far as in a clockwise direction. And I'm going to as far as bring this back and level my unit. Okay, so I've now got it level. All of my, all of as far as my um, measurements will always be done with the unit level. Now, I'm ready to go here at this point. I've gotten my, as far as, uh, I got my aimer squared to the front of the car. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to now turn off the laser, okay, by using as far as, again, the buttons on the screen. So if I look at my menu again, my menu gives me as far as that goes, I can go backwards, number two. I can turn on the laser. Well, I did that already. I don't want to do that again. So I, here's, here's the one I want, number four. Number four will tell me to turn off the laser. So I'm just going to go over here, hit number four. You hear it stop beeping? I'm now ready to continue on and move through the program. Remember, number f the button five will always move me forward. Button two will always move me back. So I hit number five. And now this is saying, turn the knob on the left rear of the aimer uh, clockwise to his position laser on as far as the center line point of the vehicle uh, at as far as the windshield. Okay, and that's what we did. And then it's going to tell you to uh, that when the laser as far as is moved from the laser uh, will as far as that goes, it has to intersect those two points, okay, to determine its center line. And we've done that. But we have to do it by shifting the whole machine either right or left, okay, and then making sure that when I sweep it, I hit my two points. All right. Now, at this point, I'm ready to continue to move on. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press button number five again. Now, the next screen asks as far as that goes if you want to change bays. Since we always do our alignments in this area and we already know the floor level here is at zero, 
I've already got this base set in here, so we're not going to make any changes at this screen. We're going to leave it alone, and I'm going to continue to move on. So I'm going to hit number five again. Now it says, I'm ready as far as that goes. Ask you if you want to, again, turn on the laser, turn off the laser, or move on to the next screen. I'm now ready to position my aimer at my passenger side headlamp. I always start with the passenger side of the car, okay? And then as far as, I will move over to the driver's side. So I'm gonna turn on my laser again, that'll be number three. <coughs> the machine is designed so it will roll straight. So all I need to do now is to roll the machine over here towards as far as my passenger side headlamp. And on the headlamp, I'm gonna be looking for the target for as far as that goes, my alignment, my alignment, okay? And the target in this particular case is a round circle that is going to be located as far as that goes here on the headlamp, okay? And the target is right there, okay? I know it's hard to see, okay? But that's right where the target as far as that goes is at right there next to my finger. There's a round dot that has been as far as a round a circle that is molded into the legs, okay? So, I'm going to recheck and make sure that my unit is still level, okay? Because I have to be level when I'm working with this. So I want to double check here, make sure I'm still level, and I am. And I'm now going to go ahead and bring this down onto my target. And that looks pretty darn good right there. I'm right on my target. Okay, and I am as far as that goes, level. So I'm ready to go on my passenger side headlight. And as you can see, you'll notice as far as that goes that the red dot is kind of as far as that goes right about in the middle of as far as that goes the dome there on the headlight, on the light, and that's where it should be. All right, so I go ahead and I've been ready to turn off my laser again. I now use number three to turn, I'm sorry, number four to turn that off. Go on to the next screen, number five moves me through. Okay, now. Next thing I need to do is to determine what type of headlamps do I have. Remember, on this machine you can have different modules for different manufacturer or different, uh, different origins of automobiles. In this case, the only, things, the only module we have in this aimer is the US headlamp package. This is all we'll do is US lamps. So that's where we're gonna go. Number three again, and we're gonna do the low beams, okay? Since this is a combination high beam and low beam, it will make no difference which one as far as that goes we do, okay, but I always work off of the low beam, all right? Now, if I had two separate headlamps, both a high beam and a low beam headlamp, I would do the low beams first, and then I would do the high beams. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up for low beam, number five again, and now I've got my screen and I'm ready to go, all right? So, Zeph, if you would, as far as that goes, could you go ahead and start the car up and turn on my headlights? Now, I always like to start the car, okay, in order to make sure, as far as that goes, that my headlights, okay, are at their full intensity, all right? Now, as I look at this, all right, I can see, as far as that goes, that I have, as far as that goes, some readings here. You'll notice as far as that goes, there's an arrow here and an arrow here. And you can see it says as far as that, I am 2.6 inches to the right and I am low 8.2 inches. So in Pennsylvania, we are allowed four inches from as far as that goes the center line, okay, for my horizontal, I'm allowed four inches from center line up and down and I am allowed as far as that goes four inches from center line right and left. So. This is the center line, this is the most intense part of the beam, okay, so this is what they're looking to align here on the low beam, and as you can see, I would need to, as far as, adjust these headlights so that I move as far as this to the right, 2.6 inches, and I need to raise this side up 8 inches, and that would bring me back to zero, and as far as I would be in good shape. But as long as I'm within 4 inches, I'm fine, okay, but as you can see on this one, this one fails because as far as it's more than four inches low, all right? It needs to come up four inches. The other neat thing about this is it also measures for you the candle power of the headlamp. And that's gonna be right here. As you can see, it says here that it's 27,000 foot candles, okay? That's the amount of 
light intensity that this is putting out. In Pennsylvania, on a low beam, as far as you can have, as far as the minimum candle power is 7,500. As you can see, this is well in excess of the minimum, okay, at 26, as far as that goes, 27,000 candle power. So this is gonna be a nice bright bulb. It's in good condition. Now, I'm not going to adjust this headlight. I'm just showing you how to, as far as make the, I'm just showing you how to make the measurement of the headlamps. So I've gotten this one. The next thing I'm gonna do now is I need to move on and that will be button number five again. So I hit, hit button number five. It says, now move over to the driver's side. So I want to watch my cord here. You want to turn off the headlights? Thank you. I'm going to watch my cord here, and I'm going to go ahead and move now over to as far as my driver's side. Again, when I get it over here, I'm going to check my level and make sure that I'm still level. So the level is back here. And I've gotten my unit's still level again. So I'm ready now, I'm gonna hit number five again, and that will take me to the screen on the laser. So we'll hit number five again. Again, it says turn on the laser number three. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit number three. That turns on my laser, and as you can see, I'm right here, I need to come down a little bit. I got, you have to do that though, not by turning the knob, because that would take me off of level. I need to do that by raising or lowering the unit. So I'm going to lower the unit down. So my target is again, my dot is on the target. And as you can see again, you can see clearly, here's the target and here is my laser pointed right on the target. And again, if you look at the bulb, you'll notice as far as that goes that the laser point is right on the center of as far as the reflector inside the bulb. So we're in good shape. I'm still level. I'm ready now to go ahead and turn off my laser. That will be again, number four. And number five takes me on. And I'm ready to go. We'll turn that start that car back up again. Now, you'll notice as far as that, on this side, you're hearing as far as that goes a chime. What we have put into this particular unit is we've already calibrated in, is the unit within four inches. And you can do this with this unit. We've already done that when we set up the options on it. And I said, if it's within four inches right or left or four inches up and down, go ahead and tell me that the aim is okay. Now, you still need to have the, you still need the measurement. But now it's telling you, you're good. It passes safety inspection. But if you take a look at this one here, you can see we're still off a little bit. It needs to come left 1.1 inches and it needs to come up about 2.3. So there's still a little low. Okay, and as far as that goes, I'm sorry, we need to come right. So they're, they're pointing a little bit left and they're a little low. Okay, we need to bring them back right and bring them up a little bit. Uh, again, we can check the candle power. The candle power on this one here is, as far as that goes, at about 23,000 candles. All right, that one side was a little bit more intense than this one. Okay, could be as far as a little difference in bulbs, as far as maybe one was replaced, a manure bulb, something like that. You know, could be, but again, it's still over Okay, the specification for the Pennsylvania when it comes to safety inspection or when it comes to the equipment section, not safety inspection, uh, that it's well above as far as that goes, the minimum of 7,500, all right? So at this point, we've now measured the my headlamps, we've determined that the passenger side failed and that the driver's side, as far as that goes, has passed. We would have to, as far as that goes, let the customer know that the driver's side, as far as that goes, would not need to be adjusted, but the passenger side would need to be adjusted in order for it to pass safety inspection. So at this point, we're ready. Go ahead and hit number five again to turn that off. And it takes you back to the original screen. We are now done with, as far as that goes, checking our aim. At this point, you can just go ahead and turn off the car, turn off the lights, turn off your headlamp aimer. And as far as we have now finished, checking the headlights on as far as the Dodge Neon. Thank you.